China has identified the cause of... This has reached Australia. This is a rapidly emerging situation. We're asking everyone to work at home if possible, postpone unnecessary travel. I, did I... I decided it was time for a change. I have been a physiotherapist for some time now. I have spent years of my life trying to be good at one thing and I did it. But recently, I decided that I want to be good at something completely different. And that is a whole story that I want to talk about today with all of you. My purpose of doing this is to share my perspective so that anyone who is in a situation like I was in a couple of years ago, who is questioning and wondering can have a new perspective to lean on. In early 2020, I was thinking about how some choices we make so early in life can have a direct influence on our current present and how these choices can help shape our future, whether to the better or worse. And I was looking back to how two years ago, I decided I wanted to make a drastic career move and this helped me diversify my career and I've only started reaping the benefits of this change just now. COVID-19 hits. China is urging its citizens not to travel abroad as it's... Lockdown starts. We will be standing up Christmas Island as a quarantine. Business slows down. It all blows up in 24 hours. Things move so quickly and in weird directions. And then, nothing. This was the first time since I graduated that I was able to just sit back and think. See, I started my career studying medicine straight from school. I was not enjoying it and decided to follow something I was more passionate about. So I bit the bullet and I moved to Australia and studied physiotherapy. When I graduated with a degree and I immediately started my postgraduate diploma, then my master's degree. While I was doing all that, I actually started my own clinic and I grew my business and worked on it nonstop. You can probably now see where this is going. So then this lockdown hits. This was the first time that I actually got to sit down and reflect like actually think about where I want to be. And man, this whole COVID thing with this madness was a blessing in disguise. I developed this interest in software and coding. I wanted a solution to see my patients remotely, so I went down this rabbit hole. And I decided to also build my computer and make YouTube videos and even play games. I had a lot of time. And this is when I realized that even though I can be good at something, I can also be passionate about something completely different without well, sacrificing what I'm already good at. And this sparked new interests in my life. I started feeling more energetic. Turn up the radio. Turn I stopped watching the news. I stopped stressing about things that were out of my control. And it felt great. It was a bump in motivation. I decided I wanted to be involved in tech. Let me recap a little bit. I was always interested in tech. I have always been good with computers. But I have not sharpened my skills enough to be considered a pro by any stretch of the imagination. And I also was not sure it was something that I wanted to pursue personally. Because see, the tech I was exposed to when I was very young was that school teacher teaching us lame things that I already knew. And it wasn't looking like a great career trajectory at the time. This was before Google was Google and that famous social network movie. See, the problem is I already invested so much time into becoming a good health practitioner. I have all these degrees that make me super qualified at what I do. But is it so bad that I also am interested in something else? See, what you chose so early in life does not have to define your future. And your life interests? Well, they are not set in stone. So what did I do? I set out a plan that would change the directory of my career forever. So how did I do it? A combination of different things. I started learning the practical way of doing things just like I did as a health practitioner. I started with YouTube. I will list in the description a couple of my favorite YouTubers whom I was able to learn from. Then I wanted to get the right credentials so I enrolled in a few courses and I started to applying for roles in the sector. And guess what? I got one. The solution for me was trying to find a problem and then go about trying to fix it. As I went about trying to fix it, I actually learned so much about software development and that is much more powerful than studying theory. So you go out there and build a portfolio, make a solution to a problem you already have and connect with the industry. So how does coding apply to healthcare? In 2020, I started working on a new project and that involved the merge between my experience as a health practitioner and the new learned coding skills that I just acquired. And it worked. What else have I accomplished from this decision? I landed a role in technology with a top university. My startup is finally coming together nicely. What you have done before in your life is not wasted. It all builds up on top of the skills you already have made. Now merge with new ones you just acquired to give you more unique skill sets. Skill sets that are not necessarily present in an individual who jumped into coding immediately from school. See, they may be better at writing code, but you, you have unique skill sets that will help you shape your problem solving skills. And that could be unique and extremely valuable, both as an employee or a business owner, as you may be able to approach things differently, 
more thoughtfully and creatively. And that is where you can be completely unique. If you have any questions about this or want me to get into this in more details, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really work hard on these videos and they take so much time to make. All I ask in return is that you like the video and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you all in the next video. If you would like to find out your posture type in order to fix it, check out the link in the description for a free posture assessment. I made this simple quiz that lets you find out your posture type in less than 5 minutes. It's a super simple quiz and it's completely free to try. From there, you have the option to start a 3 month program to fix your posture. Whether you're a beginner looking into getting into shape or a seasoned gym goer who actually wants to improve their form and look, this program offers you a progressive exercise routine that gets more advanced gradually so you can advance your fitness journey with a better posture and form. Having a good posture can help reduce the likelihood of posture related pains. Things like back pain, neck pain and shoulder pain can all be caused by poor posture. In this posture correct program you'll get access to a mobile app with exercise videos, a habit tracker and even it integrates with your favorite fitness apps. Things like Apple Health integration that syncs with your watch, Garmin, Fitbit, you name it. Best of all you actually get to access a private community of similar minded individuals, an accountability forum where you match with another member so you can both stay on track together. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link and find out your posture type for free.